guys and welcome back and welcome to a roasting hot day in England. I can't believe I'm saying it either. It is boiling, hence why I've got a t-shirt on. So I thought there's no better day than to go for the first drive in my new long-term loaner, the Audi RS3 Saloon. The all new one, one of the first to be delivered. I cannot wait to get inside and drive it for the first time. And before a lot of you say, oh, you've already driven one, I drove the Sportback at the press launch of the car. I've never driven the saloon, so I'm so excited to get behind and give it a proper drive. It's gonna be really, really exciting. I've given it a clean already. I keep cleaning it. I have just keep looking at it, cleaning it. So lucky to have that as my daily driver, just to do many miles in it and just enjoy it. I just love the look of it. I've said it before when I did the unveiling of the car. I really do. I know some of you prefer the Sportback, but trust me, you're gonna fall in love a lot more with the saloon. It is one very cool car. So let's jump in and go for the first drive. I was just playing around with the drive select buttons, just choosing which mode I wanted to drive it in. And I was in comfort, but let me just quickly show you something. All the drive select and you change what you wanna be in is just here. Um, obviously on the R8, it's all basically here, but I quite like having it there. It's quite a nice place, easy to get to. You just press it once and it changes there. Uh, so you, as you can see, comfort, auto, uh, and then dynamic, listen. Oh, got a little bit louder. Um, and then it all uh, changes on the dash as well. Um, I'm trying to think what view to go with. You can, there's so many different views. You could literally go in, zoom in to see Google Earth. Come on, we're going to planet Earth here. Da -da 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 -da. Boom. Oh, look at that. Okay, so here we go. This is gonna be really cool. I'm looking forward to just driving it for the first time, feeling how everything works. Everything is so new in here that it's got that new smell. Makes a nice noise. That 2.5 litre five cylinder engine sounds good. It really does sound good. It's a freaking cool car. It's awesome. Like, I cannot state how much luxury I am in while driving it, honestly. Oh, it's just a nice noise. The Alcantara steering wheel feels amazing. When you corner and stuff like that and you have grip and your hands aren't slipping, it just feels nicer. Tell you what, when you get your foot down, it kind of, it glides. It's like a, it's just progressive and smooth. And I'm gonna say a word that I don't usually say, elegant. <laughs> it generally is. Top end of second gear, it's like what? It's so fast. these cars are because we did an RS3 versus A45 the RS3 was in another county that's how quick they are one of the things I love about the Audi RS3 is the steering is so light precise direct it really it everything you can honestly do this with your fingertips when you're in comfort mode even in dynamic it's just the nicest feel of and the nicest driving experience I've had for so long. From going from A to B, it's you're in such luxury. I love the noise when you just pull away. Listen, that subtle oh. Oh my good god! <laughs> does 0-60 in roughly, well Audi state it does 0-60 in 4.1 seconds. That's them being very generous. If you look at magazines and things like that, there have been times of 3.8 seconds that this has done 0-60 in, which is seriously quick. The first gen Audi R8 is slower than Audi's 2017 RS3. That is a stat I'm still trying to get my head around but it just shows where these cars are going. It's 
it's crazy like they are becoming more and more comfortable more drivable better looking like generally that the saloon for me is a seriously good looking car they're becoming more practical I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So I've just quickly pulled over in this amazing British weather just to have a look at the car, really, and just absolutely loving this first drive. I wanted to see a few things. I wanted to see, one, the indicators, because I just find they're amazing. I put the hazards on. I'm like, right, I'm jumping out. I'm having a look at that. And not only that, the daytime running lights. And also, just to see the car pulled up, because you drive it and you're driving that car around, but you just forget what it looks like on the outside. So sometimes it's nice just to pull over, have a look, and just uh, pinch yourself and realize how the hell am I driving that? The daytime running lights, look at these. How cool are they? They like glow and like glow in the dark. They look so, so cool. But not only that, the hazards. The hazards are absolutely mega. I just love the fact how they just shoot outwards. It's just uh, very, very cool. Let's look at, oh, look at them from the front. How cool do they look from the front? Those indicators are freaking awesome. That is just such a good looking car, isn't it? Listen when you pull away. Oh, I do want to talk to you guys about a very important subject. It's the gearbox. A lot of you will be wondering, what is the gearbox like? Amazing. Really, really is instant. Like, that's third, that's third, that's fourth. That's third, that's fourth. That's second, third, fourth, third, second. Done. Like, really quick. They've spent a lot of time making the gearbox amazing because it really is and it's instant which is so so nice it makes the driving experience so much better my driving experience from this car i love it you know when the window is coming down that i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do something don't you so far so quick and so freaking comfortable Whoa. It's when you rev it out and you're just about to get to the rev limiter and it goes whoop, oh, and it's like all the digital dials in front of you. You're just there, like it feels like um, a video game. You're just like, oh, but like, like when you played F1, I'm getting so excited, I can't speak. When you played F1 as a kid or something on a, on a game and you're, you know when you're in manual mode, I, does that make sense? And you're like waiting for it to rev to the top. I have been asked the question is what is it like having a daily driver that has ceramic brakes. Well, it's really nice because when you want to stop, it really does stop quick. This is a nice incentive just to have it. A lot more of these cars these days are coming with the option to have ceramic brakes. And if you were, I'm not going to take it on the track, but if you were, if you didn't have something like that, after three laps, the brakes just overheat. So it solely depends on what you're gonna use the car for, but I feel for an all-rounder and using this car every single day, ceramic options is a good option to have, 100%. It really, really is. And when you need to stop, you stop. So there we have it, there is my first drive in my new daily driver, the Audi RS3 Saloon. It is just an amazing bit of kit. It's just impressive in many, many ways. And I hope you guys get a chance to see this car in the light someday because you will see exactly what I mean on how good it looks because some people prefer the Sportback and some people prefer the Saloon. Trust me, when you see this, I think yeah, there's going to be so much more RS3 content coming up. I've got a lot of things planned. I'm so excited. I feel so lucky to even have this as my long-term loaner from Audi. It's a massive privilege and you guys are all coming along for the ride. It's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all very soon.